Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know where you're watching the soccer arena from around the world, but today's topic is going to be the statue of King Pele. The statue of King Pele. You're watching the soccer arena. I've been thinking about this particular subject or issue for a very long time and we all know that Pele is a footballer that played between the 50s, 60s and um, 70s and he is the greatest achiever, the biggest achiever when it comes to world football so it made me think of how come the world hasn't got a statue in Brazil for King Pele. Um, we all know that um, the story of King Pele is a remarkable story. And um, I also believe that the world, because I don't think the world know exactly what type of or kind of footballer that Pele was. Pele wasn't an ordinary footballer. Like most of the footballers you get today, Pele is the world's best footballer. And I believe that the world have to know the truth because Pele, in terms of football, he is a history maker. The world needs to know the truth that a young black boy won the World Cup for Brazil. I mean, up until this point, Brazil wasn't really known for their football prowess. Brazil was a football nation, just like any other nation around the world. But a young 17-year-old, black boy for that matter, because this is a time when racism was rife all around the world. A young black 17-year-old boy, wow, this is history, came on the football scene and he won the the World Cup for Brazil. A young 17 year old. Now you go into the world of football today or from for the last what? I would say 40 years and tell me any young 17 year old that single handedly won the World Cup for his country this is history in the making and this is part of the reason why King Pele is the greatest footballer the world has ever known. A young 17 year old black boy won the World Cup for Brazil at the age of 17. Remarkable. Interesting indeed. And Pele went on to become Brazil's highest goal scorer. In the Celestial, Celestial's history. I mean, a lot of great players have played for Brazil, but none of them can say they've taken that title of being Brazil's highest goal scorer. So, King Pele is Brazil's highest goal scorer, and King Pele is a footballer that doesn't just score. In ordinary games he scores on the highest level to be the highest goal scorer of a strong footballing nation like Brazil it's not an easy feat so I want you to remember that Pele yeah won the World Cup a young black boy came on the international world stage at the age of 17 and he won the World Cup when I read about this I couldn't believe what I was reading no other footballer has ever done this some footballers don't even win the World Cup till they die some footballers even play in this tournament at the age of 40 something plus years and they still can't win it a young black boy Edson Orantes de Nascimento came on the international scene and won the World Cup At the age of 17 
This has got to live with me forever. This is history in the making. So Pele is no ordinary footballer. How old is Messi today? How old is Cristiano Ronaldo today? How old is Wayne, Wayne, how old is Wayne Rooney today? They haven't won the World Cup. Probably all in their 30s. A young 17-year-old. Black. Brazilian footballer came on the scene and he won the World Cup. Pele is the greatest player of all time. I had to make this video. But upon all Pele's achievements, it makes me ask the question, where is Pele's statue? In Brazil, where's this great footballer statue? Where's this black man statue? In Brazil, I don't see it. Where's Pele's statue? In the world, upon everything Pele done for football, where's Pele's statue? I, I would like to go and visit the Pele statue myself. And this remarkable footballer, Edson or Onantes de Nascimento, he went on to win three World Cups. Oh my God. In a glittering football career. A young black man. Pele is the greatest footballer of all time. Because history doesn't lie. History will never lie. Pele could have won four World Cups. But he, they made sure they broke his leg in the 1966 World Cup. In England. Pele is the ultimate football history maker. All the youth today that want to aspire to become footballers. I think you should go and watch the Pele videos. I think you should go and read the Pele books. Because Pele is a remarkable footballer. That's him. And today you're watching the soccer arena. I'm proud to be speaking about the world's greatest ever Footballer Pele Edson Hernandez de Nascimento. That's his Brazilian name. A man that scored over 1,000, I think 200 goals in his professional career. Pele is unmatched in world football. Pele is unmatched. In world football but I don't want to lose the focus for today today's topic is the statue of King Pele where is the statue of King Pele because if I don't talk about this I think people might even forget and say ah another black man forget about it no 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 but the soccer arena is here to talk about this where is the where is the, the statue of King Pele? I would like to know. Or when is the statue of King Pele going to be built? I would like to know. If you go to Rio de Janeiro today, looking over the Rio de Janeiro Brazilian National Stadium, where Pele has been the best player to ever play in that stadium, you will see the statue of the white Jesus Christ looking over Rio de Janeiro, looking into the stadium. But this makes me also want to ask the question, where is the statue of King Pele? If Brazilians are into statues, there should be a statue for King Pele because Brazil has produced a lot of great players, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, Cafu, Socrates, Falcao, you name it. Ede, Garincha, but it makes me wonder, none of them are better than King Pele. Where is the statue of King Pele? 
Rio de Janeiro, you see the, the, the statue of the white Jesus Christ. Overlooking Rio de Janeiro Stadium. Where is the statue of King Pele? It makes me want to ask that question. They need, Brazil need a statue of King Pele. Of this remarkable footballer. Brazil need a, a statue of King Pele. World football don't talk about this. King Pele enough. People need to know about his contributions to the world game, to the beautiful game. Where is the statue of King Pele? Pele is the biggest history in world football. Pele is the biggest name in world football. Footballers had the Charltons of this world, the Zicos of this world, the Maradonas of this world, the Bobby Moons of this world, the Shegun and Degbonamis of this world. Um the Franz Beckenbers of this world. But none of them has, a, has never ever achieved what King Pele has achieved in the game. King Pele is the greatest player to ever play the game. A young 17 year old changed football history for life. Where is the statue of a young King Pele? 17 years old and he won the World Cup. You're never ever going to be more inspired by any footballer more than King Pele. A 17 year old came on the scene and he won the World Cup. Not only a 17 year old, a 17 year old young black boy came on the scene and he won the World Cup for Brazil. A young 17-year-old black boy put Brazil on the map. Remarkable footballer. The world has got to know the story of Edson Hernandez de Nascimento, King Pele. Upon all his achievements, I don't see the statue of King Pele around the world. King Pele not having a statue around the world or in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro is a big insult to world football. King Pele is the greatest footballer of all time and nobody can match his record. Three World Cups, a 17 year old that won the World Cup, black boy. Over 1,200 professional football goals. Man, this is remarkable. Um, the topic for today is, where is the statue of King Pele? And you've been watching the Soccer Arena Part 1. And the topic is, where is the statue of King Pele? This is Part 1. Um, King Pele is a great footballer. You gotta watch King Pele's video to know what I'm talking about. Like my videos, share my videos around the world. God bless you as you watch. But the topic for today is where is the statue of the greatest footballer that ever lived? Messi's in his 30s, Cristiano Ronaldo's in his 30s. Wayne Rooney, they're all in their 30s. They haven't even won one, one World Cup. And a 17-year-old came on the scene. A 17-year-old black boy. When racism was rife in the world. Oh! No footballer even comes close. A 17-year-old took the World Cup back to Brazil. 
history was made. A 17 year 